Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. This is going to be a bit of a rant because I have had it with people on the used market buying, selling, and trading guns. Some of the tactics that are being used are very anti-Second Amendment. I understand that there are inflated prices out there. Everybody is in either panic buying mode or they're they're hearing this i've had so many people contact me and say i need to get a gun because that's all they're hearing is there are record gun sales and all that is good but when we see other people take advantage of buyers or take advantage of people trying to trade or even sell it's a very dark stain on the second amendment and this is amongst the worst sellers out there Inflated prices, fine, a little bit, I get it. But when they hide flaws within the gun and they are selling it to somebody else who is going to use that gun for self-defense, whether it be for carry or home defense, it doesn't matter. I cannot think of anything more anti-Second Amendment than to hide a flaw within that gun. You do not disclose it. You sell it for an inflated price. Somebody's buying that gun for self-protection. They take it to the range and say, this thing is filled with problems. And now they have to deal with the manufacturer. They have to deal with the gunsmith because you oversold your gun, telling them that it's great, it works great, and it actually doesn't. What if they never quite get to the range and somebody breaks in their house, they have to use that gun? And it doesn't work because you sold them a fa faulty gun. I, I think that is horrible. W many times, the very same people who complain about what the gun store is offering them for a trade are the ones who try to trade the gun and do the exact same thing as the gun store. And what I mean by that is I've, I've put up there, I'm not looking to sell the gun, but I'm looking to trade it and this is what I'm looking for. And they will hit me back, well, you know, the price of your gun is worth this much, the price of my gun is worth this much. Therefore, if you add 150 bucks, I'll do the trade. When you look at it and you say, whoa, whoa, where are you coming up with that? They take the highest amount, like retail for their gun, the lowest amount of used for your gun, and then they want cash. Or they'll say something like, well, what are you willing to add into it? Are you willing to add in ammo? Does it have night sights? Does it come with a holster? How about an optic? You know, does it come with a, a case? Or are you going to, what are you willing to do to increase the value so that this deal is great for me? You know, I don't understand that. <clears throat> I've made many good trades out there, but lately they've been so off the charts that I don't want anything to do with the public. And I don't know if it's a bunch of new people entering the gun world who are being told this is what you're, you're supposed to do. But to take advantage of somebody else consistently, you know, we complain about the gun stores doing that. We say, well, boy, I bought the gun for $500, and then they offered me three and a quarter. What a ripoff. Then they go out and do the exact same thing. What are you willing to do? How about some ammo? How about a holster? Uh, you know, throw some money in this because it doesn't have night sights. You know, I, I need uh, additional grips with that anyway, so it's not worth it to me. So if you cut down your price, hey, I'm all for negotiating. I'm all for getting the best deal. But when you are trying to really rip off somebody else who has good intentions, then that's where I draw the line. And I'm fed up with it. You know, we look at uh, people who are trying to buy a gun. You post a gun. You may say, you know, I'm, I'm willing to sell this. You put what you feel is a fair price. They, they, your common tactic is to, you know, ask a few questions, how many rounds, what's the condition, can you send pictures, all oh, that's normal. You know, you expect to do that. When I, when I sell a gun, I take pictures in advance, fully ready to share those to anybody who wants to see them. But they get this dialogue going, all these questions, and everything, then they hit you with this ridiculous offer. You know, it could be $200 less. Now, everybody seems to think that when somebody is selling a gun, or a part, or an optic, or whatever, you name it, that they're desperate for money. Like, like they're like sitting by their phone waiting, somebody please contact me with a cash offer. I'm just willing to dump it just so I can get rid of it. That very seldom is the case. Very seldom. You know, hey, uh, you know, this is only worth this much, so, uh, you know, I'll throw $25 on it. Meanwhile, it's 150 bucks less than what you were asking for the gun, which was a fair price to begin with. 
Now, to get a decent deal, okay, fine. To ask, what's your bottom line on this? Okay, fine. But when you actively try to take advantage of somebody else by hiding flaws within a gun without disclosing everything, with, with not telling the true round count, the, a, a gun that you take the most wonderful pictures, you know, real skilled photographers out there take amazing pictures, and yet it's all beat up. All right, or there was some home gunsmithing done where you could just tell like this gun was really played around with quite a bit, and yet you say it was like that from the factory. These are anti Second Amendment things that should be avoided at all costs. And if you're out there trying to sell, trade, or buy a gun, be very careful. A lot of scammers out there, a lot of new guns are on the market, people are trying to wheel and deal, and in doing so, they have no problem ripping you off and. Therefore, you feel like you're getting a good deal, and many of us are, many people, I should say, are of the mindset, I need to get a gun, I need to get it now, and if the gun store sold out, I'm going to this person, and this could be the most dishonest person that you ever dealt with in your life. I just had it, you know, I, I've had it, I, I'm, I'm just going to put a hold on everything till the in, gun environment settles down a little bit, hopefully it'll stabilize, I don't think it will, but... We never know. These things catch us by surprise. And that's just where I'm at right now. And I hope you give a lot of strong thought about some of the things that I just discussed. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.